In the FC studios, it's time for extra time, which uh, incidentally wasn't needed in the England-Japan semi-finals. Funny one, that, isn't it? Uh, Julie Foudy, uh, Christine Lilly. Still feeling for you, Adrian. Kate Margraf here to answer your Women's World Cup uh, questions. Uh, first one, right off the bat, in your opinions, who's been the MVP for the US so far? Julie? Carly Lloyd. Yeah. Three game winners in the last three games, all knockout stage games. I mean, she has stepped up and stepped up in such a big way. In They've released her. They've taken off the ball and chain, which I wanted my entire career. <laughs> and I didn't the get. Release the Lloyd. Are you going the same way, Chris? I, I am going to go the same way. And I think if she has the same performance she's had in these last three games in the final, she, she'll be the MVP of the World Cup if the U.S. wins. Kate? 513 minutes without a goal scored on the United States. And that's because of Becky Sauerbrunn leading that back line. Butter, I, butter making smooth. them a fortress. Butter. The butter is controlling that team in the back. I knew it was going to be the backs. I'd take them too. You go first this time, Kate. Uh, is that the most cruel way to lose a World Cup game? Again, presumably talking about England and the way they went out. Yeah, especially in the last 30 seconds of a game. You have no way to redeem yourself. It's heartbreaking. Mm. Mm. There was no way back, Christine. There wasn't, and, it, and it, it, it is so heartbreaking for an England team that played so well. Gut-wrenching, Julie, I'd call it. Uh, you know what I hope? I hope the country in England, knowing how it's, uh, it, it, there's such a varied response to the women's program, I hope this just unifies them. I think it to, has. To support I, think it's, it. I think it's ignited some yeah, flames. Yeah, even though they don't win, I hope, I hope they, uh, they really support it, as they should. Looking forward to Sunday. Two questions. Uh, do the Japanese through ball scare you against the slow U.S. center back, says our question answer. And will we see Sydney LaRue? No, the Japanese through balls do not scare me because I haven't seen them get in the box at all. They're not getting in behind defenses very often. I, they had six touches in the box against England today. So um, I think this is a Japanese team. If the U.S. pounces on them defensively, high pressures them, this is a team they could take. Christine? I agree. I think Worried it, about the through ball? Um, I'm not because I haven't seen it. Mm. Um, and I don't think the Japanese are that fast. I mean, their timing can, with the ball and the run can get by, but I think that back line's been tight together. I don't think they've seen a lot go through them. You're not worried about that defense. I'm but totally worried about that through ball. <laughs> I mean, I, that was kind of a through ball, even though it was a right. bending ball behind the back of the line. Absolutely, because they have technique and precision. If the United States falls asleep, they can punish you. I don't think it's going to happen, but as mm, a defender, you, you are always a pessimist. And just briefly, are we going to see LaRue? Just the second part of that question. Uh, you know, it depends what system she goes with. If she goes with the one with Alex, mm. I don't think so. I think she'd want to start her higher. Uh, I think you see maybe a O'Hara at the right side. Press could even go in there, but I think Sydney LaRue... If unless they go with the two or three front, uh, may not get as many minutes. All right, Christine, final question. You go first. Should we expect the U.S. to come strong out of the gate against the technical Japanese? I think so. I think what they did um, against Germany was so, so great. And I think the formation they went with it, I think they should stick with that. I think that's something that's worked. It's got them the opportunities on net. It gave Carly the freedom to do what she's done and obviously create goal chances. So I think that would be uh, a smart decision to way mm. to start. Kate? Stick with what's working. What's working is high pressure all over the field. Mm. Almost worked last time against Japan uh, four oh, years yeah. ago, didn't the, it? The, and they, get, they, they have to come out aggressively. Mm. Always err on the side of being aggressive. That's, I think that's the, the way the United States plays. And we saw you know, with, with Japan and England how well that worked for England. So I think they'll take a page from that. Excellent stuff. Great stuff. Thanks very much. Uh, you're off to the final. Christine, thanks so much for your contribution. It's been brilliant. Uh, you can see continuing editions of ESPN FC as we count down towards the Women's World Cup final. The next one, uh, which Kate is sticking around for, Thursday, 6 p.m. Eastern on ESPN News.